Now we're going to add the days of the week across the tops of each of the columns in the second row. So if we come back down here, um, we're going to go ahead and add in Monday. Don't forget the days of the week are capitalized. And when you want to go from one um, cell to the next in the same row, you're going to use the tab key. So I just typed in Monday, and I'm going to hit tab with my left pinky. So that goes Monday to Tuesday. Hit tab again. Wednesday. Tab again. Whoopsie. Tab again. Thursday. One more time. Tab. And then Friday. Pause me if you need to. Go ahead and do that. And then when you come back, we are, I'm going to do both of these with you. We're going to center the days of the week in each of the, of the cells. Then we're also going to increase the font size again of them all at once. So what you can do so you don't have to do this one at a time. You don't have to do it to Monday, then Tuesday, then Wednesday. We're doing it all at once. You're going to go ahead and um, you can, you see how my cursor turned to that black arrow right there when I put it to the left of that row? If you click that, that's going to select the um, entire cell. But if you double click it, bam, bam, it will select the entire row. So it's kind of quicker than like having to click and drag. So if you want to, you can click and drag to select all this. Or, as I was just showing you, take it up there. Um, have that arrow change to that and just go bam, bam, click twice, and it will select them all. So first we're going to center these. We're going to make our table aesthetically pleasing. So we're going to go to the Home tab over here, and you're going to go to your center option. You should know how to do this by now. So all of them will center at once. And then the other thing I wanted you to do was go ahead and increase the font size again. This time I would not recommend they go as big as your title, but I would recommend that they go a little bit larger than the rest of the text so they kind of stand out. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to, I don't know, 18. But it's your choice what you want to go up to. If you have not saved this document yet, you should have saved it as soon as you typed in your name in Activity 12. Um, but if you have not saved it at this point, go ahead and make sure that you are saving it properly and that you save it um, a lot throughout you working on it so you don't lose your work here. All right, so the last thing we're going to do on this slide now is we're going to go ahead and, and um, add in some chores to our table here. So let's go to the Monday column. Let's say you have to do three chores on Monday. You can type the same thing as me or you can choose three of your own. But I'm going to choose the chores of, I don't know, feed, dog, wash, dishes, and clean room. Those are going to be my three chores for Monday. So you can either use those same three or choose three of your own. But if you need to, go ahead and pause me to do that. And then when you come back, let's go ahead and choose three separate chores for Tuesday. Let's say for Tuesday, you need to wash car and you need to do laundry. And then your third chore maybe would be to um, sweep kitchen. All right, again, I don't care if you use mine or not. Uh, if you need to go ahead and pause me, though, and fill out your those chores for Tuesday, go ahead and do that now. All right, so now <clears throat> you've got your Monday, Tuesday chores. And to make this quick, we're going to go ahead and we're, we're going to pretend like you have the same chores every other day. So whatever you do Monday, you're going to do Wednesday and Friday, too. And whenever you do Tuesday, you're going to do Thursday. So we're just going to copy and paste. So you can see if steps five and six here is copy and paste. So we're going to take Monday's chores. So start with your first chore. Click and drag to select all the chores on Monday. And you're just going to hit your Control C. You're going to click directly under Wednesday in that top cell. And you're going to hit Control V. And then you're going to come to Friday. Do the same thing, click on that top cell and hit Control V. So then now we're just going to carry Tuesdays over to Thursday. We're going to copy and paste those. So click and drag once again to select just your chores. Make sure you don't accidentally select the day as well. Hit your Control C. Come over to Thursday and hit your Control V. All right, that's it for this slide. Make sure that you hit Control S to save or click your Falloffy Disk icon so you don't lose everything.